T. Colin Campbell Center for Nutrition Studies. My name is Dr. Evelie Scapo, and I am here today with my daughter, Sharissa. Hi! Ready to share with you our secrets to make plant-strong salads. We really love to eat salad at home. We make a big salad and then have it for lunch the next day. So it's definitely not a science to make a delicious and nutritious salad, but a lot of people, you know, just don't get creative or they're used to the same old, just greens and tomatoes. So that we just wanted to share with you some ideas on how to make creative salads that are also, they look great, right there. They really are good to the eye. They're beautiful, but they're also very nutritious. We want to add some key ingredients to make our salads as nutritious as they can be. So the first thing we wanna share with you is you wanna include a lot of different colors in your salad. You really wanna eat the rainbow, okay? That's yeah. very, very important. And at home, we like to get some a different mix of greens. So we'll have some baby greens, as well as your traditional, you romaine. know, like mature romaine or green leaf, butter leaf. Uh, we try to buy in season whenever possible. Always Organic is always best, but really do the best you can with what you have and in the location, you know, try to buy local whenever possible. And you wanna uh, wash your greens well. We have a, a, a spray bottle that we put some uh, vinegar and water and we spray our produce and that's how we clean it up. So we wanna share with you two of our favorite dressings and we're gonna put together uh, three salads. So the first thing we're gonna do is talk about you know the base of our salads. So with the greens, you wanna include one or more of the oak leaf, butter leaf, green leaf, romaine, spinach, all of these great, um, wonderful greens. So we have here some romaine. And then you wanna include uh, at least a cup or more of cruciferous. So if you are ready, if you have some kale, like baby kale in here, that's a bonus for you. Um, but you can also add you know more cruciferous, such as arugula, um, the broccoli, so another cruciferous, some of the um, cauliflower, right? You can add collard greens, you can add, um, you know, cabbage. So we have different colors of cabbage. Thank you, Sharissa. <laughs> red my mind. So we have here red cabbage. And, red. and we have our green cabbage here as well. So oh, look at that beautiful cabbage. All right, we got that at the farmer's market. So, you know, the key is, to think varieties. You don't have to eat the same salad every day. If you have all your veggies ready, you can pretty much have like a salad bar at home in your fridge and you can just pick and choose the ingredients that you want, right? So in addition to having at least one cup of the cruciferous, then you wanna have some veggies. And those, again, we're looking for color, so we can have some um, peppers. Carrots. Carrots, right? So those are for a dressing, but we have some uh, cut up carrots and we're keeping the peel as much as possible. You could add some celery, beets. Beets are a wonderful addition to your salad. They can either be raw shredded beets or you could um, also roast them and cut them into little cubes. You can buy them already cooked as well as a time saver. Um, how about some tomatoes, mm -hmm. right? So tomatoes are a great source of lycopene and to actually boost that, you may wanna roast, like cook your tomatoes um, before adding them to your recipes. Um, what else? Like possibilities are endless. Butternut squash. I mean, really think outside the box. All the different colors and butternut squash. You can even eat raw. So just like the carrot, you can just cut it up and or shred it. Um, you could also bake some sweet potato. We had some this weekend, right? Yeah. So you want to. And the walnuts. Yeah. So then you add some toppings. You could add um, some uh, nuts. Um, you could also add fruit. So we have here. These are uh, golden berries or, or gooseberries, and we call them mushulas. So these are nice, and they have like a sweet and sour taste. But you could do mandarin, apple, all those, as well as some beans. So we have here um, our white beans. You could have, um, you can add some black beans, Pinto chickpeas, black beans. right? Some of that, great. That's Charissa's favorite. Pinto beans. Pinto beans, all of those. Uh, as well as sprouts. So remember that sprouts are super nutritious. We have some varieties here, clover, beets, and legume, and you know, like little legume sprouts. Um, they are very nutritious. They contain all the elements um, that a plant needs for life and growth. 
Sprouting also brings out enzymes. And so as we germinate this, the seeds, legumes, and other grains, they are easier to digest. Also, the bioavailability, bioavailability of protein, vitamins, and minerals is enhanced by sprouts. So raw vegetables are gonna be really super high in enzymes and phytonutrients. So that's why we really wanna add some uh, raw vegetables as well as cooked vegetables. And I'm just looking here to see if you have any questions. Thank you all for joining us. Um, and also it's important to a variety because these phytonutrients are gonna work together in synergy. So that's, you know, they have vitamin C and all of these other nutrients. So we really wanna eat a variety. So let's put together our first salad dressing, but I wanna get started and cook some mushrooms. So mushrooms is one of those foods you really want, don't wanna eat raw because they, they contain some toxins. So you wanna cook the uh, mushrooms. I'm gonna warm up the skillet. And note that um, I'm using white mushrooms. You can use um, baby bella, portobello, any of those, and they only take a couple minutes to cook. So I'm just gonna add them here to our pan. They give a lot of, of juice and water, so you don't have to add anything in there. What I like to season mine, I add a little bit of mirin, which is a Japanese cooking wine, but you can add vegetable broth if you don't wanna add that, as well as a, couple of, a little water, you could do that. I'll add a little tamari, a couple of drops of tamari. But you could also add some fresh garlic. If you have that ready, that's also great. And if you're going SOS and not adding any, any salt, so Tamari has, has a little bit of salt, you can use this Benson's um, seasoning, which is salt free, and it has a lot of great flavor. So we're gonna do that. Uh, so somebody's asking, what pan am I using? Well, this is a Salad Master pan, which I think they're wonderful and, and awesome, it's stainless steel, but you don't really need any specific pan to, um, to saute without oil. The, the key is to not cook at really high temperatures and it just be a little patient and your veggies will start to give out some juice. If you're cooking with onions, then that will also give it some liquid. But again, any liquid is fine. Just plain old water will really do the trick here. And I'm just gonna cook it for a couple minutes more. Let's get our dressing started. Yep, I'll help you with that. Yeah, I need your help for sure. So we have one large carrot, which we're keeping the peel on. Okay, we're gonna add it here to our Vitamix. And then we'll add one inch of ginger. We love ginger. Ginger is anti-inflammatory. It's, it's really a, a wonderful root vegetable to, to consume. Um, we're gonna add some dates. So we have here, by the way, the recipe is on our website and I did share a link with all of you. Um, so those, these are little small dates, so we're going to add four instead of three. Then we're going to add one of my favorite ingredients, which is miso. I think we cook with miso a lot. So we're going to do, that is one tablespoon of miso. Yummy. Then we're going to add half a cup of water. Thank you for my assistant here. <laughs> you're welcome. So happy you're here. Uh, half a cup of diced sweet onion. And it's important to use either sweet onion or red onion. And you could even get away with using some green, uh, sca scallions or green onions here. You don't want a really strong uh, onion taste. Two tablespoons of celery. All right. There you go. Uh, one tablespoon of tahini. And if you're following Dr. Esselstyn's um, guidelines and you're not using any nuts um, or you know very little fat, you can skip the tahini. And one tablespoon of rice, um, rice vinegar. So if you don't have rice vinegar, you can easily use uh, apple cider or white balsamic. So let's go ahead and blend this. We used to be addicted to that Japanese um, ibachi dressing, so this is very much like that. we used to 
used to eat, right? Yeah. <laughs> that was not healthy at all. This one is super, super healthy for us. So we're gonna give this Vitamix to our behind the camera assistant so that we can get it ready for our next recipe. So let's put together um, our first, um, our first, recipe or not recipe our first salad yes okay so we're gonna make this asian inspired so we have here some, uh, romaine. some romaine and we're gonna add some cabbage we have here red cabbage all right we'll add some red cabbage great and then we'll add here we have avocado all right great so we'll add cucumbers, right. which is on the side here. Great, thank mm. you so much. These are, all right, we'll add carrots. Add some carrots in here. More carrots, because we need more, right? Yeah, it's good for your eyesight. All right, so let's add the carrots. We'll add some sprouts in here. So we've got our delicious beet sprouts and they give it a nice color, so we'll add some of those here in the center. And we'll add a little bit of um, clover sprouts as well, just for extra. And that's our dressing. So we'll have here a little bit of dressing. Yummy. Now you could add some nuts and seeds here too, if you like, or if you have like cooked grains, cooked quinoa, that's another good one. Um, uh, or you could also add um, some rice as well. So we'll put this one aside. Okay, and let's get ready to make our next one. Oh, we found some black sesame seeds. Let's add some of those, right? You, you can just add them. All right, and we'll add some black sesame seeds. Yeah, oh, that does look so great. Thank you for our behind the camera assistant, Shyla. <laughs> That's our other daughter. All right, so we got our mushrooms ready. So I'm gonna make like my favorite power salad, right? So I have here kale, baby kale. So definitely love kale. And you love a lot of it. Too. I love a lot of it, right. So I'm gonna use this as my base. And then I'm gonna add some, um, more greens, so the cabbage. We have here white cabbage. Mmm, um, black beans. You want me to add them? Yes. Actually, you're adding black beans to yours too, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we have that in common. So we'll add some black beans. I like both, so I'll add some white beans as well. Can't go wrong with that. Tomatoes. I'll add some uchuvas. I love these. The gooseberries. Yep, the, the gooseberries. So we'll add some of those. Mine is not as pretty as yours. I'll add some broccoli. <laughs> Lots of broccoli. Great. You want to make sure you eat some raw broccoli. And then we'll add some of these beautiful lentil and um, has mung bean. It's like a mix, a blend it's for a crunch. go and um, I'll add some scallions so somebody was asking are these canned beans so we like to cook our beans from scratch we have a, um, a pressure cooker we cook them in there but you know whatever makes it um, better for you if you if you have to save time you can buy them already um, cooked either in a in a can or preferably you know they sell them in in um, a carton or frozen so they don't have to be candies whatever it you know if it keeps you from eating other unhealthy foods then go for it right you have to buy it already cooked so i'm gonna add some mushrooms a lot of mushrooms actually <laughs> now you know to me this would be enough i really wouldn't have to add anything else but it, uh, sometimes what I like to sprinkle, especially if I'm on the run and I don't have um, a, an oil-free dressing, I'll just carry a little bit of nutritional yeast with me. It's and kind I'll, of like cheesy. Yeah, it has like a cheesy flavor, so I'll add some of that to my salad and a little bit of Italian herbs. So that's like my favorite salad. And if I must, I, I will add um, 
a little bit of um, white balsamic vinegar or a dressing. We're actually gonna make the and next dressing, like a white balsamic vinegar dressing. So this one, we also use our blender for that. And Sharissa is gonna demonstrate. So we first use half a cup of the uh, white balsamic dressing. No, vinegar. I'm sorry, yes, vinegar to make the dressing. Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, next, we're gonna add the half, half a cup, cup of, of water. water. And then one fourth cup of applesauce. One fourth cup of applesauce. All Next, right. we're gonna add six dates. So we have here some dates. And make sure they don't have any... Any pit in there. Yeah. All right, that's important. If you don't have the applesauce, it's not a big deal. It would just not be as thick. You can add even more applesauce to make it thicker. All right. Next, we're gonna add two teaspoons. Oh, wait, actually. First, we're going to add one garlic clove. Okay, so it doesn't matter the order, really. Yeah. It doesn't matter the order. You can add them any order you like. We have um, here two, te two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. Three tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Three and tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Yes, so three tablespoons of Dijon mustard going in here. And if you want, you can add um, mm. chia seeds. Yes, so uh, also it's totally optional, but you, for the good omegas as well as thickening, it's good to add some of that. All right, put the lid on. Okay. And by the way, I would even add some greens in here too. Like we have some basil, you can add basil or cilantro. So we're gonna blend this away. ready and uh, we have our dressing already so it's right here we put it away in these little uh, containers and have them ready in a refrigerator ready to go so we can add that to the to salad you want to make your salad now yeah all right so in here I already have my romaine my baby kale and my arugula mm -hmm. and I like to add to my salad black beans She actually eats beans, like just cooked beans, no no type of um, seasoning. Like she loves beans of all types. Peppers. <laughs> um. So that's some, some cucumbers. Some cucumbers. I like to use guacamole, but you can use uh, avocados. Mm -hmm. So she likes the guacamole is almost like her dressing. Like she uses quite a bit of it. Yeah. And I'm going to put some tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And what are your sp favorite sprouts? Um, I think the lentil ones. The lentil ones? Oh, yeah. Well, she can add some lentil. There we go. And carrots. And that's it. <laughs> a little bit of carrots. So keep in mind also that our herbs like cilantro and basil um, are great to add to our salads or our salad dressing. So we always have them ready to go. And oh yeah, yeah. You want to add some cilantro? Oh, she forgot about that, huh? Yeah. Here. And All then right. I like to use the um, the white balsamic dressing. Okay. All right. Great. Beautiful. So. Again, recap, just eat lots of greens. I'm gonna try and address some questions here. Um, so we have, is that a Vitamix blender? Yes, we used um, a Vitamix, but you don't need a Vitamix to make any of this. You can make it in your little Nutribullet or any old blender will work perfectly. Um, rather than sprout, so how come I opted for cooked beans? So I'm just giving you a variety of things you can use. You can use either or or both. So you can use cooked beans or sprouted beans. Um, so that's perfectly fine. Thank you all from Maryland, San Diego, New Mexico, London. Oh, wow. Well, um, I hope that you guys are enjoying your lunchtime and that we have inspired you to eat more plant-based meals, plant-strong salads. Until next time.